Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video we're gonna discuss about how we can use append to document list in web method. So basically we use append to document list to add a new element. For example, list we want to add in existing one. Then in that case, we use append to document list. So let's start the demo. Simply click on the service folder, new flow service then append view user defined name append loop demo it's already exist that's why it's getting error then we'll give it another name demo one otherwise demo two and then finished empty got uh, like empty flow got created now we'll define our input and output so click on the input output tab here we uh, i already created a document and in document contains a document list so i drag and drop the student as an input document here and give the name student here you can see the student document list contains this document then next step candidate you can we can drag and drop in output and give the name candidate you can see here here also one list is available and there are four elements and each student having a three elements so in web method yeah in loop statement we cannot map this like this student like this student and this student document list containing three elements only this candidate list like candidate documents list having a four elements so we cannot directly map to s name c name s id c id s address to c address because the frequency of the both are different there are three parameters here only four parameters so that's why append to document list comes in a picture so we cannot directly uh, add yeah append this document list to this one that's why Click on the T tab, we'll start the demo. Uh, give the map step here, drag and drop. You can see the pipeline. Pipeline in and pipeline out. After that, take one loop flow step here, drag and drop. After that, give a valuable comment. Looping over student. Here you can see the loop flow step having the important property input array. So if you not define the input array, then the service throws an exception. Also, uh, you can take one map step here to perform the mapping. So just click on the map step and uh, move right. Up to that, you can see here the particular things because we not save the demo that's why it's not showing the complete details so we'll save the demo first then you can see the pipeline in and pipeline out here so better we will expand the pipeline so that you can see the complete uh, input and output details so student this is a document list and candidate having also the document list so here i'll take one document temporary document temp you don't see candidate having uh, four names now so directly select it shift by using the shift option shift button and click click on the temporary document and control v okay so new temporary document got created now you can uh, okay see here you can see the student this is a document list so i just copy it this document minimize the pipeline then click on the loop and i'll provide the input array before that i'll provide one slash and then control e okay so now you can see the document list got changed to document so now you can perform the mapping so here is a document 
and temporary document got vanished because this is not we not use this document now that's why so make sure that if you taking any variable any document any object in the palette and you mention in the plan out so in that case if you want to use the another step now then just click on the temporary document and you can assign the value so that it cannot be vanished so again i'll click on the pipeline out drag and drop one document i'll give a name tem document tem dot dvc select the all four elements then click on the temporary document and control v okay so here as a document and here as a document so you can directly map so s name to c name click on this option sid to cid click on this option and yes address to c address click on this option so as per big business requirement we only require three elements and we need to map to particular input element to particular only three output elements so i'll just save the particular demo again in next step we also require this candidate document and this document uh, we never use that's why again i will i'll do one thing i just click on this candidate option and i'll temporarily hard code it yeah this option you can use set the value click on the okay and minimize the pipeline save the demo after that i'll be use append to document list to append a new list to existing one so click on the empty space insert by using this inog option you can also inog the particular service here i already used that's why it's showing here i just double click on it and i move right this particular document list then i'll expand the pipeline okay here to list got mapped to to list so we don't require it i'll drop it first then this is a candidate and this is output we need to this candidate output we want to add the new list so candidate this is a document list and to list also document list so we can directly map temporary document this is a document and form item is a document you can directly map to list we need to map to particular output here is a document list here also document list so you can directly map na temporary document you don't require you can drop it no problem you can save the demo also form item we don't require you can drop it so in web yeah, in if you are working on any project so make sure that to increase the performance of the particular service those elements you don't require so on this same stage you can drop it so just minimize the pipeline save the demo and click on the empty space run as flow service here i just said in previous demo as well click on the student list and add the row whatever row you required how much how many then you can add it by using this button you can delete it so here i required only two list so i'll expand it and uh, give the input s name you can mention then s id s address s name zero two s address then click ok button double click on the result option so you can see the particular output here i give the two input list but only one list got created so let me check what happened here so 
I think here I'll hard coded this value that's why this error coming so I just delete it I'll save the demo again I'll run it run as to service then here we mention the to list here okay then expand the result and here you can see here you can see the two document array got created document is dot created so we map s name to c name then c name will be saya here s name to this s c name and this value is anish so that's all about today's video guys if you like this video then please do share and please please subscribe to my channel if you have any concern any queries then do let me know in comment section thank you so much and have a fun guys have a great day ahead